The United States has recorded over 10 million COVID cases, which is the highest of any country in the world. We better get our butts back to Luna and back to Grenada. Oh, here we are getting ready to head back to Grenada here in Miami right now. Been sitting here in line for about 20 minutes, waiting for the planes to take off here. But I think we're pretty well ready to get out of here. Better. Very ready. Mask on, we're ready to go. Gonna spend a uh, couple days in quarantine at a resort, scuba diving, and all the good stuff. There, we'll have some video updates for that. But you can see on the plane here, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of empty seats. They said it's only like 51 people on board, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Rob and Michelle, and this is our 2001 ML Super Marimu. Her name is Luna. Come along with us as we sail to new places. While we were home, we voted, enjoyed American style breakfast, and bought some new equipment to bring back to the boat with us. The current regulations for returning to Grenada, one, you had to have a negative PCR test done at home within seven days of your flight. Two, you had to complete a health declaration and tracing forms. Three, stay at a state approved hotel for a quarantine period. And last but not least, have another PCR test done. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. you. We happy to be back in Grenada. Happy to be back. We hope you are excited to be back in Grenada. But we'll have a fun. Lots of video, lots of good diving, lots of booze, and hope a lot of good food. <laughs> The quarantine period is for five days, so we decided to spend ours at Sandals. It feels so strange to be this close to Luna and not be able to step aboard. Rob went inside to get us a crepe and some yummy gelato. Ready to go to the pool, honey? Ready to go. Let's go. Go on. <laughs> Dino's Pizza had really good pizza, but unfortunately, their soft serve ice cream machine wasn't working. We spent most of our time in the pool with the Swim Up Bar and drank mudslides and various tropical drinks. Than I did. <laughs> Three days later. Come on back to the boat, honey. Ready to go start yep. cruising again, having some fun. Definitely we're, ready to go. We're ready. Except that we have to, we we're going to have a rental car. We told by two people they'll bring a rental car to us and they can drop it off at the resort. But then at the last second, they say, no, we, we can't bring the rental car onto the property. So we have to take a shuttle bus from the resort back to the airport, then we can have the rental car brought to us to the airport. So we have to play their charade. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, there you go, baby. 
you about anything? Any last thoughts, honey, on the resort? <sighs> I gotta start cooking now. <laughs> oh, we're so excited to get the heck out of here and get moving. got sprung from quarantine and released back into society, picked up our rental car and headed to the marina for a wet welcoming. Yeah, we didn't talk too much stuff. <laughs> Now for the hard part, unpacking and doing all the last minute chores before we can set sail. Like giving Luna a real good bath and fix a curtain while we still have shore power. Rob is humoring me by fixing a curtain. Sewing is not my thing. How do I get sucked into this? I don't you're... even have a cocktail. Because you're a good husband. Uh, overrated. Now it's time to leave the dock. The guy at the front of the boat is helping Rob release the lines off the mooring buoys. Now Rob needs to run to the back of the boat so we can get the lines untied from the dock. Away we go. We headed over to the fuel dock at the Grenada Yacht Club to top off our fuel tanks. We are ready for our next adventure. I let the wind push Luna away from the dock as I put her in reverse. St. George, been lots of fun. We'll probably be back here depending on how far we end up getting. Bit of a showery send off. I gotta get busy uh, putting the fenders and everything away now. We have really enjoyed our four month stay here in Grenada during the hurricane season, but we are ready to check out our next stop of Cariacou. It started raining on us again, but we left with the most beautiful rainbow we've ever seen. Glad it stopped raining. Yeah, we had a lot of rain this morning coming in or going out. Got a lot of rain going out, take two. <laughs> oh, we got all the sails out. Take another couple hours to uh, carry a coup. So we'll see how, uh, how the rest of the afternoon goes. That's the Osprey Ferry. 
It runs daily from Kariakou to St. George's and takes only two hours. I wish our trip was going to be that fast. Another thing you pass along the way is an underwater volcano named Kickham Jenny. It is located five miles north of Grenada and is 600 feet below sea level. Its last eruption was in 2017, so all marine traffic is to observe a five kilometer exclusion around the volcano at all times. And as always with sailing, the wind changed direction and it was back to what we're very familiar with, upwind sailing, also known as motor sailing. Kariaku, which stands for Island Surrounded by Reefs, is an island belonging to Grenada. It is seven miles long and three miles wide and has a population of about 8,000 people. There's more to anchoring than just throwing out the anchor. There's a mathematical equation. In our case, the water depth was 45 feet, and we have 5 feet between our bow and the water line. So the lesson here is that the more chain you have out, the better holding you should have. I took a bigger swig than intended. <laughs> One of the local dive companies organized a beach cleanup. Sounded like fun, so we joined in. Lots of glass on this beach. Working on bag number two now. Bag number two, good job. Um, it goes to supervising. Yeah, there are my sheep. You're gonna talk to me? Come on. <laughs> there you go. You guys approve? Yeah. <laughs> guys approve of the cleanup? Wanna be on film? I know, me and sheep. I don't know what it is. Okay, get back to work? Okay. He's telling me to get back to work. The beach cleanup was a huge success. In just an hour and a half, we collected 200 pounds of garbage. Grenada, we bought these really cool scooters from another cruiser. Perfect to do some island exploring. Hey, stop. Sorry, Rob. I stopped because I had to check out this beautiful spot. Further up the road, we came across the largest cemetery on the island. Some of these plots date back to the early 18th century. And the goats are doing an excellent job of keeping the grass down. This plot on top of the hill is where the former prime minister and his wife is resting. Pretty cool sights and pretty cool to have a cannon right next to your grave. Quite a beautiful view from here. And now we reached our destination of Hillsborough. It's the largest city here on the island.
We walked over to the pier and thought what a great place to launch the drone for some cool shots of the town and the bay. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. No matter how hard Rob tried, he could not get the drone to connect with the remote control. So, I'm afraid I only have the video I shot from one of the beachside bars, but it's still a beautiful view. On the way back from town, we stopped at the Paradise Beach Club to wet our whistle after a hard day of scootering. And it turns out they were having what was called a paint and sip. You grab a piece of wood, you paint your boat name on it, and they'll even hang it up on their wall. And it's all for free. How cool is that? While Rob was painting the board white, I walked around to check out my competition. Or rather, just to get an idea of what I wanted to do. I am definitely not an artist, so I happened to have one of our boat stickers, so I grabbed it and to see if I could replicate the letters and make the boat sign look pretty cool. And with a lot of patience and a couple margaritas, I think it turned out pretty good. Don't punch. Number three. Number three. Ball. One and a half. One spilt on the ground over there, so she caught me another one. Pretty good deal. <laughs> and here is the wall of signs. Can you spot the one for Luna? In our next video, we take the local bus for a trip around the island. We find a graveyard being washed out to the sea in front of our eyes. We dance with doggies, have the best pizza in the whole Caribbean, and have more of the wonderfully invasive PCR tests. It's not getting any better. <laughs> so don't hesitate to hit that like and subscribe button, and you'll be notified when this video is ready to be viewed.